Hi Gemini, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. Also, roles can be reversed. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, donating to my channel, purchasing any of my artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you guys hit that notification bell to be notified for all your future videos as well as your future live uploads. For anyone returning, welcome back and thank you so much for your love and support. Happy birthday, Gemini. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season to the fullest. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, I'm sending much love and light to you. Uh, so you guys have the second chakra, sexuality. I honor and respect my sexuality and I allow the natural flow of my feelings. I acknowledge that my sexual thoughts and feelings will arise and I release unnecessary guilt regarding sex. I am open to the positive sensual feelings coming to me from others. At the same time, I keep my sexual activities well directed and in balance. So this is you embracing your sexuality. Um, and not feeling guilty about it. Um, but you're also very particular on who you share your sexual energy with. Alright, so this is the overall energy for you all. Alright. What else do we have for my beautiful sexy Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini? Um, so I'm seeing something shocking happening uh, with the person that you're dealing with or the person on your mind. What is this shocking event, Spirit? What is this shocking event? Rough sex. Um, so if this is someone that you're already dealing with, um, I feel like this person recently surprised you um, with... sex um the way that they did something the way that they express themselves may have been different than they typically do you could be wondering to yourself is, is this person frustrated about something is there something on their mind that they're not speaking to me about i feel like this person is definitely releasing needing to release some tension uh definitely could be under a lot of stress a lot of, a lot of pressure a lot of things going on with this person and I feel like you were taken by surprise in a very good way. If this is someone that you're not uh, already intimate with, I do see this interaction happening um, between the two of you guys. Uh, you definitely will be exploring each other. Uh, you're going to be opening each other. You're going to be exploring each other. Secretly smashing. Hmm. So to be honest, you can be on either side of this situation. Um, you guys will be in different places. Uh, but either you are secretly smashing or somebody else is secretly smashing. All right. If you know that you are not secretly smashing anybody and your partner has just kind of shown you a different side to them. This is something that they may be reenacting. Uh, this is something, you know, they definitely could have been intimate with somebody on the low and experienced a different style of sex. Let's just say that. Um, and this person may be doing things differently. And you're kind of curious behind it, but you like it. 
but you're still kind of shocked behind this this person's energy. If this is you, uh, you've explored somebody outside of your connection, and you like you liked it. Um, yeah, this is what I'm saying here. All right, <laughs> Gemini, what's going on? Tell me more about this shocking event for Gemini. Tell me more about this shocking event for Gemini. So this is either you or your person. Put yourself where you may fit. Somebody has a very dark side. A very, I wouldn't even say dark, but a very hidden side when it comes to their sexuality. And I feel like every now and then, you know, especially if this person or even if this is you, um, if they're in a connection with somebody that's not fulfilling those particular needs, they definitely may explore other options. Um, this could be one option that they have an on and off connection with, F buddy relationship with, or just very good sex with. Or this could be multiple options. Um, and they may be expressing themselves in a way that they feel like they can't express themselves with you. Or this is you. Yes. Um, whoever had this interaction, this rough sex interaction, I feel like this is like... There's a, a very strong feel, there's feelings um, here involved. If there weren't, if they were not feelings in the beginning, I definitely see feelings now. And I'm seeing love. So for some of you all, uh, you may have met someone that was already involved with someone else and they were secretly smashing you. Uh, you could have expressed a side to this person that they don't explore with their partner. And this person may be falling in love with you. Okay. Tell me more about this secretly smashing energy here that we have for Gemini. Somebody's going to be hurt behind this. Uh, whoever is the person that either they're not awakened to their sexuality or they're too afraid to express it, uh, this person is going to be left behind. They're going to be very sad and disappointed because I see someone moving on so how did this situation come about is what i want to know how did this situation come about with gemini and their person Okay, so what I'm definitely seeing here, <clears throat> I'm seeing that um, if this is you um, and you may have been with somebody, this person may have ghosted you, uh, they didn't show up, they were supposed to meet with you or be with you or you guys have a particular type of routine um, and this person was off of the routine. Um, Without notice, they disappeared, they ghosted you, and I'm seeing this person going somewhere. Uh, this may have happened last summer, or this could be future for some of you guys. They're going somewhere with a friend. Uh, this may be a vacation. Uh, it could be somewhere kind of close but far away, maybe same state but at a distance. It's a beach. Um, they're going to a beach with a friend. Now, this friend already has a significant other, and you may be this person's significant other, but they didn't take you. Um, whoever this friend is, if this is a masculine energy that you're dealing with, his friend invited him somewhere, 
his friend and his girlfriend, right? But then there's also another friend that his girlfriend brought that is entertaining your person. Or this is you. You may have been that friend that your friend invited you somewhere and there was another person. So, on this trip, um, I'm seeing this secretly smashing. Somebody is exploring a side of their sexuality that they don't explore in their relationship. Now, suddenly, um, this person could just be, their energy is not the same. They're not reaching out. Um, they're inconsistent. They're nonchalant with your energy. And it could be because this person is planning on moving forward. Wherever you fit in a situation, someone will be getting left behind. Someone is tired of being frustrated with not being completely satisfied in a connection. They may not know how to express this. Um, this could be just an internal struggle that they've been fighting with long before you or long before the person that they're with, wherever you may, may sit. Uh, but this is one of those situations um, that's truly going to have someone in their head. You know, um, it's going to have someone completely in their head about what happened. So, Spirit, tell me, um, what is on this person's mind, the person that may be connecting with Gemini? A lot of smoking and drinking. And I feel like this kind of is what led up to that. I mean, they seen this person being attractive. They may have thought that they were going to smash them. But once they were under the influence, it definitely went down. And now it's like they're keeping some things to themselves about what happened. So this person's energy could be very off right now. And they feel like they can't talk to you. So this person may not be reaching out to you right now. Trust me. Um, they feel like you deserve better. They know it's like. The guilt, um, I feel like, is eating them alive. The guilt is eating this individual alive. Yeah. All right. So what is to happen from this situation? So I feel like for some of you guys, um, you may have been the person that got cheated on. Uh, for others of you, it, it could have been somebody that they met through work or they would have they went somewhere with friends from their job and met someone else. But I feel like this is uh, it's, it's put you in a position. Some of you guys will be using your voice. You're going to be a speaker or an influencer. Um, you're going to be in a position where. Uh, you're going to be able to help people that are going through this, this same type of trauma in their connections. Because this is emotional trauma, you know, when you really love someone and things end up this way. Um, but I'm definitely seeing uh, something coming out of this, something good, something that you're going to be doing through work. I see wealth here. So this pain is creating a space for you to create generational wealth. You're using your pain and you're getting paid for it, Gemini. Angel number 1414. All right. So, yes, um, those are the messages that I got for you guys on your reading today. I hope this message gave you clarity. Be sure to leave me a comment, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love and light. Peace.